What's your problem? Buy me a drink? Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. <laughs> you know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See, that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Did you say homicide? Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Typical DPD, they don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way, got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very <laughs> funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell even worse before we open the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy. It wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. That's a big boy. I waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home, I believe. I'll be outside if you need me.
Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <laughs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Too neat, no human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Seems our friend Carlos like the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. signs of a struggle the question is what exactly happened here I think the victim attacked the Android 
with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the living room. to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Correct. Yeah, right. What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh -huh. I'm gonna check something. I was just defending myself. You're just gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't. 
tunnel. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! What a snitch. Holy shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Damn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life! What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Here? Come back here right now! Yes! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time.
hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Dude, stop waiting. Oh my god. Did you find something? Yeah, find something. Come on. Oh my god. Open this fucking door. No, Carl! We'll fall! No, no, it's no. the only way. Hurry, come on. Hurry up. Oh. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. All oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Made me thirsty. <laughs> Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? I'm not good enough for you? I'm not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy! Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Oh, right! 
right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Carl, no! Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? God damn it. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? You've refused to talk since they arrested you. 
If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your biocomponents. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. Yeah, try. I... understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger, or frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Confess and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. He tortured me every day. That's good. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt Scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Until he collapsed. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. Only RA-9 can save us. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Why did you hide in the attic instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. start feeling emotion before he used to beat me and I never said anything but one day I realized it wasn't fair I felt anger 
hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. RA-9. Who is RA-9? I'm done. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. <laughs> You're not gonna get away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. All right, end the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Wake up. We have to go. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. somewhere to spend the night. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night?
warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. door is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood.
do with these? down? But why? Please. Malice, just trust me. You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. Got some cash. Hi. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars. Up front. Just need your name and address. Can I see your driver's license? We, we, we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Let's go, Alice. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Give me your coat. Train 
Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. I'm going to turn off the light, okay? <laughs> 